Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here. So I thought I'd update you guys on a new thing I'm trying here on the fitness side. Uh, I'm basically uh, trying to do, if you know, just give you a little background. I basically eat one meal a day, right? So I'll fast until like five or seven o'clock uh, every day. And there's some interesting things about that. I'm not going to go into all the details, but I've got a, a video on why I eat one meal a day, which you can check out there. And, you know, one of the the, the problems that if you look at even, you know, even the best research on, on fasting, even the stuff that uh, Dr. Jason Fung uh, puts out, right? So you can check out his book, The Obesity Code, here. And I think it's got some of the charts I'm talking about. If not, you can just do the research on, on fasting and muscle uh, catabolism, right? You know, how, how do, you, do you lose muscle when fasting? And if you look at any of the charts, right? The, the argument is always no you don't you know it, it in fact it it curbs it like fasting curbs it but but here's the thing if you look at those charts you'll see that there is and everyone admits there's a small dip when you first begin a fast so there is a small you know protein breakdown when you first begin a fast so there's a couple of things here to, to, that I've been thinking about with that is one how to prevent that and then two there's some studies that you know, they've been done a while ago, but uh, but have been resurfacing by a lot of a lot of people on YouTube and and a lot of the you know kind of fitness community. This idea of you know of basically having more protein throughout the day, like that, it causing you to go into an anabolic state for like several hours. So the idea that you know, because there's been some debate against the intermittent fasting, which always you know people always want to rail against that. And they're saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So, you know, these traditional bodybuilders, the reason why maybe they split up the meals doesn't necessarily have to do with metabolism increasing, right? That was the original thing that, that people thought, right, from some old studies that were disproven that eating multiple meals per day would increase your metabolism. So it doesn't have to do with that. But what it has to do with is the fact that if you're having protein spikes throughout the day, that it's gonna put you in an anabolic state for several hours. And then you're basically going to increase, you know, the, the muscle, uh, well, you're gonna decrease the catabolism. So you're gonna decrease the breakdown of muscle and you're gonna be more anabolic. So you're gonna build muscle more often, you know, because you can only synthesize so much at a, at a particular time, you know, the protein synthesis. And also just because if you're going for a long time without protein that your body will start to break down right and so you now just to give you some background here <laughs> I haven't even told you what I'm doing but some background on what I've been doing I've been like I said fasting until five or seven o'clock eating one meal a day I've been running about 50 miles a week right now and doing Muay Thai right all fasted like lifting and I mean I'm not losing muscle <laughs> I'm not gaining a lot at this point, right? Maybe small, small tweaks, but you know that's that's definitely not happening. But um, it, it still might not be optimal, right? I'm always seeking for what's optimal. So my experiment, what I'm doing right now, is I'm actually taking some bone broth about uh, three or four times a day, like every couple of hours, just a little bit, just about a cup, which is about nine to ten grams of protein and ne negligible, maybe like one gram of carbohydrate. So essentially, it's still fasted, right? It's still essentially like, you know, those calories are gonna be used up very, very quickly, but I'm thinking that it may be enough protein to start that protein synthesis to put me in an anabolic state or actually to prevent the muscle uh, breakdown, right? And so overall, my net gain should be larger. So I'm trying that right now. I've also added some, I was cutting out all artificial sweeteners, but I decided to add Quest bars back in in the evening. So instead of just eating one meal, now what I'm doing is I'm eating my one big meal at like five or seven o'clock, you know, fasting all day. And then just a real, real small meal, kind of close to bed, maybe a couple hours later, where I'm just taking in like protein from a Quest bar and depending on the day, maybe a little bit of carbohydrates. So I'm testing that out and we'll see how that, that works out. You know, I, I chart everything, chart my weight and body fat and all that. And I'm, I'm real curious to, to see how this works. Again, this is one of those things that I'm, I'm tweaking, 
but I thought it'd be interesting to give you guys an update and let you know what I'm trying out and I'll do an updated video once I get the results once I figure out if this is working or not sometimes it's kind of hard to do you know to tell but I think that you know I'm looking for significant results right things that that work significantly better and so if this works then this will be my my new protocol if it doesn't you know I'll I'll try something else so all right that's all I got for you today uh, by the way if you haven't already you might want to check out my playlist on all the fitness and diet videos if you're interested in that topic I'll be talking probably more about that stuff on this channel as it's evolving right and make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and I'll talk to you next time